Hi everyone, it's Patricia again and welcome back to our channel. So for the month of October, there's many national and global holidays that involve animals. I want to read a couple of those to you. It says October 1st was Black Dog and Fire Pup Day. On October 4th, it was World Animal Day. October 14th, in just a couple days, is Pet Obesity Day. October 16th, Global Cat Day. October 17th, Fetch Day. October 20th, Sloth Day. October 21st, Reptile Awareness Day. October 26th, Pitbull Awareness Day. October 27th, Black Cat Day. And October 29th, Cat Day. And so what I have for today is a list of trivia questions about animals. Each question is going to be read aloud, and I'm going to give you four options for an answer. All of them could be possible, but one's going to be the correct one. What you want to do is guess what the correct answer is before I say it. Let's begin. The first question says, what animal has the longest lifespan? The giant tortoise, locust, elephant, or blue whale? Which of those do you think has the longest lifespan? This answer is the giant tortoise. It says it lives to about be about 150 years old, making it the longest living animal on the planet. In captivity, some giant tortoises have lived as long as 177 years. Wow. Our next question says, what is the only mammal capable of true flight? Bat, flying squirrel, hummingbird, or ocelot? Which of those mammals do you think is capable of true flight? If you guessed bats, you're correct. It says bats are the only mammals capable of true flight. A bat's wing is constructed very much like a human hand. It says it has extremely elongated fingers and membranes stretched between them. And bats can be found almost anywhere in the world except in extreme temperatures such as polar regions and deserts. In fact, there are almost 1,000 species of bats worldwide ranging in size from less than one inch to almost six feet. Many species of bats are considered in danger. Here's another question about flying. It says, what is the fastest flying bird in the world? The peregrine falcon? The happy eagle, the spine-tailed swift, or the horned sun gem? Which of those do you think is the fastest flying bird in the world? The correct answer is the peregrine falcon. It says, able to dive at almost 200 miles per hour, the peregrine falcon is not only the fastest flying bird in the world, but the fastest animal on earth. Many people may think it could be a cheetah, but that's one of the fastest land animals. The peregrine falcon is the fastest animal on Earth. Although several subspecies, including the Arctic peregrine falcon and the American, American peregrine falcon, were once considered endangered, they have made a successful recovery and no longer listed on the endangered species list. Um, the peregrine falcon can be found on every continent except Antarctica. The next question says, a newborn kangaroo is about the size of a, do you think it's a grapefruit, a watermelon, a lima bean, or a plum? Which of those sizes do you think a newborn kangaroo amounts to? So this one is interesting. It says a newborn kangaroo is about one inch in length, approximately the size of a lima bean. If you have time to take a look at a picture of it, it's very cute and it fits into the size of a person's palm. It says the baby kangaroo that's about the size of a lima bean will go to its mother's pouch and it'll stay there for seven to eight months. 
and then it'll start to venture out and only return to the pouch to need its feeding. The next question says, what is the smallest mammal in the world? The numbat, the pygmy marmoset, the bumblebee bat, or the western harvest mouse? Which of those do you think is the smallest mammal in the world? So this answer is the bumblebee bat. It says it's the smallest mammal in the world, and it lives along the river Kwai in western Thailand. It's an endangered species, and it's not much larger than an actual bumblebee, just like the name, and it weighs less than a penny. For our next question, it says, how far away can a wolf smell its prey? Do you think it's nearly one mile away? Nearly half a mile away? Nearly two miles away? Or nearly four miles away? How far do you think a wolf can smell its prey? So, if you got this correct, you guessed nearly two miles away. It says a wolf has 200 million scent cells inside its nose and can smell 100 times better than a human being. Under favorable conditions, it can smell its prey from about 1.75 miles away. The next question deals with spiders. It says, what is the world's most poisonous spider? Do you think it's daddy long legs, brown recluse, Brazilian wandering spider, or the Sydney funnel spider? Which of those do you think is the world's most poisonous spider? According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the most poisonous spider in the world is the Brazilian wandering spider, or it's also called the banana spider. Its venom is so potent that just 0 0.006 milligrams can kill a mouse, making it the most active neurotoxic venom of any spider. Our next question deals with hummingbirds. It says, how many times can a hummingbird flap its wings per second? 160, 20, 40, or 80 times? How many times do you think a hummingbird can flap its wings in per second? So the answer for this one is 80 times per second, causing an audible humming sound, hence the name hummingbirds. Due to the unique structure of their wings, hummingbirds can fly left, right, up, down, backwards, or even upside down. They can also hover by flapping their wings in a figure eight pattern, and their wings aren't the only fast moving body part. They have a heart rate of approximately 1,260 beats per minute. What animal has the highest blood pressure? Do you think it's the flea, blue whale, elephant, or giraffe? Which of those do you think has the highest blood pressure? Because of its extremely long neck, the giraffe must rely on its oversized heart, which is about two feet long and 25 pounds. Um, it uses its heart to pump blood all the way to its head. As a result, the giraffe has the highest blood pressure of any animal, which is about 280 over 180. That's more than twice the blood pressure of an average human. And not surprisingly, because of their high blood pressure, giraffes are prone to heart attacks. Our next question, what is the largest of the great apes? The Western Lowland Gorilla? The Eastern Lowland Gorilla? The Orangutan? Or the Mountain Gorilla? Which of those is the largest of the great apes? Any guesses? It's the mountain gorilla. It says reaching an average height of six feet tall and weighing 400 to 500 pounds, the mountain gorilla is the largest of the great apes. Found only in the mountains of Rwanda, Zaire, and Uganda, mountain gorillas have been victimized by poaching as well as the destruction of much of their natural habitat. Like all other subspecies of gorilla, 
the mountain gorilla is considered an endangered species. For our next question, it says, which organ can account for up to 30% of a shark's total body mass? Do you think it's the kidney, heart, liver, or stomach? Which of those do you think amounts for up to 30% of a shark's body mass? So for the shark, it's the liver. It says, unlike bony fish, sharks do not have gas-filled swim bladders for buoyancy. Instead, they rely on a large liver filled with oil. Our next question deals with dolphins. It says, dolphins have been trained by the U.S. Navy to do what? Find enemy swimmers? Guard nuclear arsenals? Locate underwater mines? Or all of those? So the answer was all of those. It says the Navy Marine Mammal Program at San Diego Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command, which is also called SPA War, trains dozens of bottlenose dolphins as well as sea lions to help the U.S. Navy. In the past, the U.S. military has used dolphins in conflicts in Vietnam and the Persian Gulf. Today, thanks to their intelligence, speed, and echolocation skills, dolphins are trained to find enemy swimmers, locate underwater mines, and guard nuclear arsenals. That's a very interesting fact. So another spider question. It says, what color is spider blood? Do you think it's blue, black, red, or yellow? Which of those colors do you think is the color of spider's blood? So it happens to be blue. It says in humans, ox oxygen is bound to hemoglobin, a molecule that contains iron and gives blood its red color. In spiders, oxygen is bound to hemokinin, a molecule that contains copper rather than iron, making their blood blue. Here's another question about kangaroos. It says, what is the primary purpose of a kangaroo's tail? Do you think it's for balance, defense, propulsion, or do you think it has no purpose? Which of those do you think is the purpose of a kangaroo's tail? So the correct answer is for propulsion. So it says scientists previously thought kangaroos used their tails for balance or support as they walked. But new research shows that they use their tails like an extra leg to propel themselves. In fact, the tail provides more power to help them move than their front and hind legs combined. Our next question says, how do polar bears get fresh water? Do you think it's by eating snow? from seal blubber, from freshwater ponds, or from all of the above. How do you think polar bears get fresh water? It's from all of the above. It says polar bears live most of their life on the sea ice surrounded by salt water, which is no good for drinking. They get around this in a number of interesting ways. One, by eating snow, though usually not in great quantities, by drinking from freshwater melt ponds that form on the sea ice during warmer months, and by metabolizing sea blubber, which provides water through a chemical reaction as it breaks down in their bodies. And the last question, it says, what species of possum is found in North America? Texas possum? Georgia possum, Missouri possum, or Virginia possum? Which of those do you think is the species of possum that's found in North America? Have you maybe seen a possum before? Do you remember what kind? It's Virginia possum. So it says in the United States and Canada, the only species found is the Virginia possum. So thank you for playing along in this trivia and listening to new facts about animals. And so 
please check out all of our other videos and comment down below if you like this video and if you want more videos like it. We'll see you next time. Bye!